Flies are incredible. They're one of the most diverse organisms on the planet, with over a million different species buzzing around every single continent except for Antarctica. This diversity includes a lot of different ways to eat different types of food. From lapping up nectar on flowers, to biting up little small pieces of food into tiny portions, flies have a ton of different ways that they can ingest food. But my favorite are the flies that eat meat. There are three different types of flies which eat human and animal flesh. There's the blowflies, the blot flies, and the flesh flies. Adult flies usually lay their eggs on bare skin, but sometimes they look for open wounds and other openings on the body. One species of these flies, Dermatobia hominis, actually lays its eggs on ticks and mosquitoes. When these unwilling hosts go and find a human to feed on, the eggs fall off and the larvae hatch, burrowing into the wound that the tick or the mosquito made. Over the next 5 to 10 weeks, these maggots begin feeding on skin secretions and blood and mucus, leading to a deeper infestation known as myasis. First reported in humans and animals in the 16th century, myasis affects mostly the elderly, the disabled, and those that are unable to care for themselves. This disease is especially prevalent in war-torn regions of the world, where poor access to healthcare leaves these wounds to fester over time. Treatment of these wounds involves covering the hole where the maggot lies with Vaseline or some other form of petroleum type product so that they suffocate the maggot inside. Once the maggot is dead, you just push like you're popping a pimple and the maggot will come right out. While historically this disease was more common in tropical and subtropical parts of the world, increasing global tourism and trade of livestock has caused a massive increase in the range of these flies. Myasis is now the fourth most common travel-related skin disease in the world. Amongst animals, myasis is very common in dogs and rabbits and a whole variety of livestock, including sheep. In Australia, sheep farmers estimate that they're losing up to $340 million a year due to myasis in their livestock. Scientists are using molecular methods to track these flies throughout evolutionary time but also through geographic space. This will allow scientists to see where these flies are coming from, but also where they're going, so they can try to find effective ways to treat this disease. Current methods include using pesticides and the sterile insect technique. The sterile insect technique involves taking males from the wild, zapping them with radiation so they can't actually have any more offspring, and putting them back into those wild populations. This is in the hope that these now zapped males will outcompete the males that are in the wild, so that the overall population of the flies decreases over time. Unfortunately for these scientists, the flies have another thing in mind. Scientists have noticed that these populations are now becoming more resistant to both pesticides, but also the sterile insect technique. As climates continue to change, and we convert more of our wild places into agricultural zones, scientists predict that we'll be seeing more of these flesh-eating flies in places where we've never seen them before. So keep your eyes and ears peeled, because that next pimple you pop might just be your new insect neighbor. I'll see you next week.